For the third year in a row, Toronto police are being asked not to march in Toronto's Pride Parade. And that's the reason Doug Ford says he won't be in attendance either. Conservative MPPs at Queen's Park defended the Premier's move, which is garnering some criticism tonight. This was the scene in 2016. All three levels of government represented for the first time, including Ontario's first openly gay premier at Toronto's annual Pride Parade. But the festivities that year would be brought to a halt by members of Black Lives Matter Toronto. They staged a sit-in, making a list of demands, including keeping uniformed police officers out of the parade. Fast forward to three years later, and Doug Ford says that's the reason he won't be attending Pride as Premier for the second year in a row. The Premier has been great and very clear uh, at attending events where um, everyone is included. And so uh, he's been clearer, and our government uh, has been uh, supportive of this uh, event. Conservative ministers coming to the Premier's defence today, but the opposition says it's the wrong move. The Premier should be there uh, and he should be using his position to try to help uh, bridge the gaps and, and, uh, and close the, um, you know, the divisions that exist, not, not create more of a wedge. A similar sentiment today in Toronto's Church and Wellesley community. Saying that he's not going to go because the police can't go when the police are part of the reason that Pride exists in the first place seems ridiculous. They've like historically harmed queer communities, bathhouse raids, uh, Queen's Park, you know, systemically like attacking queer people for their sexuality. So yeah, don't want them in the parade, especially like not in uniform. I agree with that. That's why I'm not going to the parade. I boycott the parade uh, until the police are able to walk freely. But while many in the village may disagree with Ford's politics, some say he has a point about the police. Relations between Toronto police and the LGBTQ community have been strained, especially after what many considered a mishandling of missing persons cases in the village that eventually led to the arrest of serial killer Bruce MacArthur. Pride Toronto would not provide an on-camera comment today, but in a statement expressed their disappointment, writing in part, Premier Ford is the elected leader for all Ontarians, and the Toronto Pride Parade is one of North America's largest pride festivals and a signature event for Toronto and Ontario. We all must bring more openness to these important conversations for this community if we're going to move forward. This year, Pride Toronto considered allowing police floats back at the parade, but ultimately decided to continue to exclude them after their membership voted in favour of keeping the ban in place. In a statement, a spokesperson for the Premier says he wishes all the organisers of Pride Toronto all the best for a successful month and festival weekend. Now, this isn't the first time a Ford has refused to attend the annual festivities celebrating Toronto's queer community. Premier Ford's brother, Rob, famously skipped out on the Pride Parade during his time as mayor, citing his annual tradition of spending Canada Day weekend at the cottage with his family in Muskoka.